1. Creating shopping carts for goods. Purchase group. For the goods shopping cart, select the purchasing group of buyers that will process the goods purchase order, if your entity has multiple purchasing groups for materials. However there is one purchasing group for freight in your entity. In other words, all buyers are able to edit and send for approval on purchase orders for freight. Similarly, there is one planning and execution group per entity. In other words, all TM planners in your entity have visibility of all purchase orders and are able to plan freight for all types of purchased commodities in your entity. In this example, we are selecting Procurement Unit 1 in UNGSC. Hit OK to close the window. In Coterm Key and Location. In Item Overview section, you add the materials as usual. Contract Catalog is the preferred option always. In the Contract Catalog, you may have the same PID with different Incoterm and prices. If item is selected from the Contract Catalog, the shopping cart replicates the Incoterm and location selected in the Contract Catalog. Click Details to edit the item details. The ultimate responsibility to have an accurate Incoterm key and location rests with the buyers. To that effect, a requisitioner can choose to put an Incoterm in the shopping cart. However this is not necessarily required. As a systems contract has an Incoterm and Incoterm location, if the shopping cart Incoterm fields are left blank, the PO replicates the Incoterm and Incoterm location from the contract. If requisitioner changes Incoterm and location in shopping cart, which is different from the contract's Incoterm and location, then the PO item level takes the updated Incoterm and location from the shopping cart. Only the following Incoterms should be used in shopping carts and purchase orders, deliver at place, delivery duty unpaid, X works, free carrier, deliver at terminal, free on board. FCA, FOB, X works, are the preferred options. The usage of DAPDAT should be undertaken on an exceptional basis only. Delivery date. Delivery date is set, at item level. It determines the number of inbound delivery documents created and therefore, the number of DTRs and freight units created in TM. Setting a realistic delivery date will enable TM to provide the best proposals for transportation, as more combination of routes and legs will be proposed. Delivery address, performance location. Based on the profile, requisitioner sees one address per default. Should the address need to be changed, never type it manually. Don't do this. Instead, always use the matchbox in order to change the address. Clicking the match box, opens a search tool. That helps finding the right data without typing. Just select the delivery address by clicking on the grey box on the left of the line. And that's how you select the delivery address. Requisitioner clicks check button before ordering the shopping cart. Umajar displays a warning message stating that the item requires transportation and instructioning to add a freight line. Just ignore the warning and click order button. This is just a warning message and it can be ignored as from now onwards freight lines are created in a separate shopping cart. The shopping cart displays an information message stating that the shopping cart has been ordered.